what's up to the gang sugar to the gram back with another video as y'all can tell we're doing another life update i know i said i was gonna do another one in like three to four months my business before we get to it make sure you guys like comment share subscribe and y'all let's just get straight to it so as you can see by the shirt yes i did have to bury a loved one not too long ago um my aunt i call her tt she passed away shortly after i made my last update which is very ironic but i have this shirt and have another shirt that y'all probably have seen in other videos so if y'all see her face just know this is for her how do i feel since then so i was in disbelief when i heard the news it was over memorial day weekend and i hadn't lost someone since 2020 so three years later it definitely was like a shock you know she was very inspirational for me because she kind of got me to embrace my nickname Tootie more. So that's kind of how it ties to me. <laughs> um, I felt like we were similar in multiple ways. Um, but honestly, I tried not to think about it too much until it was the actual day of her service and I completely broke down for real. Um, it was hard seeing her like that, knowing, you know, I knew her for the past 25 years. So it was just really crazy to have that moment and really have to go through that because I never really had to deal with, like, my great-grandmother, she was very close, okay? But my TT, yeah, that hit home. I'm like, holy crap, like this woman helped raise me you know like, it was just a lot going on and of course I had to be as strong as I could for my mom because she just lost one of her sisters so it was just a bunch of stuff going on at the time and like I said this was literally right after the whole drama with the dance team I was on like it was just a lot that happened at that moment but honestly I still feel like she's here months later i am pleased to have two guardian angels up there now um i do plan on getting her tattoo soon i want to try to get it by the end of this year y'all i really do because this happened in may we're in december like I, I gotta get it done okay it has to be done um so hopefully you guys will get that tattoo vlog soon because your girl has four different tattoo ideas that need to happen. It's just I'm trying to find the financials and the time to do it. So, fingers crossed, God in the universe, I'm going to make it happen. That way you guys can get the tattoo vlog that I have planned for y'all. And I'll be able to get the tattoo I want done by the end of the year. Um. So, that's step one. <laughs> that's step one. I ain't going to cry or nothing. Like, that's step one. Step two is that my business, Creole Things, has been booming ever since. It's absolutely crazy because for the ones that did not know, I had a very rocky start to this year. I know a lot of people have been saying that recently, that 2023 was just a waste of a year. And I feel the same way, okay? Let, let, me, let me put that out there. I feel the same way. But for my business side, it took me a good five to six months into the year to even get in order. When I tell you I've never had that issue within the two and a half years that I was in business at this time, never had a dry spell of five or more months. So in my head, I'm like, <laughs> is my time up? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's time to call it quits. But the crazy part was around the same time my aunt passed away is the time where all of the orders started coming in all of the love and support started coming in and I was like wow that was a part of God's plan he was preparing me because like when I tell y'all y'all know I went through a lot beginning of the year so the fact that all of this was happening within like five months of a new year and 
it was just spiraling and just like going every other direction and then it took someone dying to just like have everything like trickle effect like everything just started happening and I'm like it was I can't even put my finger on it it's crazy but I feel like she also had a part in it as well um because like I said like, when I tell you I I've been like on it ever since I have won it and it's definitely because of her being a big help <laughs> like look that woman loved purple and butterflies and I remember ever since I'm like I don't want to see any other insect unless it's a butterfly now my great grandmother called me ladybug so every now and then I'll see some ladybugs you know and I'll be like oh thank you girl like I see you're here but I never really saw any butterflies and it was crazy because yeah it was around summertime but we usually have butterflies all the time and I never really seen them until I've seen an abundance of dragonflies right so I'm thinking what the hell well, like I'm always seeing dragonflies right but like I saw like an overabundance around this time and I'm like what the f what is what is this what does this mean and when I looked it up I was like holy crap that's both of them it's not just her because I feel like you know when it was just Gigi up there she would send me some ladybugs every now and then to let me know that she was there and I was like ah oh, I love that like you know thank you but now that my TT's up there with her, I felt like it was a transitioning for them. Instead of giving me two different insects, like a ladybug and a butterfly, they decided to just give me a dragonfly instead because they're all in the same family, right? So when I found that out, I was like, oh. like I had like a heavy heart. I felt, you know, at peace in some way to know that if I see a dragonfly, it's for both of them instead of a ladybug for my great grandmother or a butterfly for my no they're together <laughs> and they're gonna send me something that represents both of them to let me know that they're both here like it's not just one or the other it's both so that whew, whew, trying not to get emotional but i just love that <laughs> after the first i guess you could say half of the 2023 era this last part of 2023 has been eye-opening it's just a whole different era than i was in the beginning and if y'all don't believe me y'all go check out the last update i did because this one is completely different than what that first one was next topic is that we actually started a new dance team and it is called la hustlers um i am super excited because actually a couple weeks after we left we actually talked about it and very not very skeptical about it but we're just like we're trying to do it the right way and not really rush it but at the same time we're like if we don't start it now we're never gonna start right <laughs> so we ended up starting it officially in august and we didn't really like get going get going get going with everything for real for real until like september and let me tell y'all for just a short few months we have done so much we have gotten a lot of exposure um we don't have the best mardi gras schedule but for us being a new team and literally not even five months in we're doing the best job ever okay let's let's keep it let's keep it a butt your girls are doing it okay so i'm very proud of us <laughs> for even going through with it because you know people just say stuff but now nah, we was like nah we really doing this like for real for real and i'm very very proud of the brand i cannot wait to see what it's gonna look like after mardi gras because i know it's gonna be booming it's gonna be crazy i'm just super excited to see the path that goes with this team and that i am a part of it <laughs> speaking of that we have been having dance team drama not within our team itself but with other dance teams because you know a lot of dance team owners and founders they feel very entitled and it's just a lot of you know stuff going on that we can't control but at the same time i already know that god is stirring it up 
he got his plan going you know things are gonna happen and honestly i'm just down for the ride because like i said i want a whole five to six months with just a bunch of stuff stacking on me and now six months later i'm just like <laughs> you know it's, it's so crazy like 2023 was definitely a year of like challenging me for real for real but showing that nothing that you throw at me i can't handle and i'm always figuring the shit out okay but that's basically what i wanted to say on this update is that the first half of 2023 was <laughs> shit but the rest of 2023 is looking really good and i'm just super excited because i feel like it started turning around in my favor for the last half of the year because 2024 is really about to be that girl and i know it sounds very cliche that yeah next year's my year no i feel it baby <laughs> y'all know i'm very spiritual i'm very into all of yes yes i go off vibes y'all know i be feeling everything and let me tell you i'm not just going through all of this for no reason like 2024 really about to be something crazy i can't put my finger on what it is i know i'm not gonna be able to figure it out until after the fact but god got me for real like 2024 about to be something serious and i'm just excited to see what's gonna happen because whew, let me tell y'all i ain't getting any younger <laughs> and i'm just ready to go full force head first for whatever he got planned for me i'm trying my best to like get over being so anxious and being so scared to do things and it's like you only got one life to live i mean at some point you just gonna have to jump in head first and you know trust the process and trust god so i'm just really excited to see what he got for me next year but that's just basically the update from the last time nothing too crazy been going on it's just a lot of good vibes and good things happening um i am gonna try to update y'all i'm gonna try to do no more than six months like i'd rather do it quarterly with y'all but i mean if not too much happens in three months i can't really you know but just know you guys will never get more than six months out of me on a life update because I like updating y'all with all the stuff that's going on because if I saved it for every single video, <sighs> especially when a lot of stuff is like developing months later, it's like I'd rather just do it all at once. That way y'all can get the full story, you know. But to the game, thank you guys so much for coming for my update. Just know 2024 about to be something crazy and i cannot wait to keep y'all on my journey so see you guys next video